truth in your heart. Speak the truth. Come on, pull these. Come on, pull everything back in. Get it back in here. Be real to the inner man. Be real on the inside. Don't lie. If you're going to lie to anybody, don't lie to yourself. Amen. I was talking on the way here to uh, uh, Bishop Grover called me and I said, man, you know, too often times we just tell so many lies. We know we don't look good and we tell ourselves we look good. Amen. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that was just what he thought it was funny. <laughs> but we become, we speak the truth to ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Much of what we do is to impress people. We want to impress neighbors, parents, my God, think about your life. How much of your life have you invested in, 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 in impressing your neighbors, your parents, your bosses, and all of these different... How much of your life has been in, invested in, in impressing? How much of stuff that we do, do we do to impress neighbors, peers, bosses, we, we, mothers and dads? My God, hallelujah. 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 So this is where we are talking about now pulling everything. Now these things are not wrong because God said that we are to have a good report of them that are without. But there is a right way to do everything. The right way is not to do it from the outside. The right way is now to go from the inside. Realize that now I need to please Christ who dwells within. If I can please Christ who dwells within, then everybody on the outside is going to be well pleased. Church, but if we can please God who dwells in the temple, we must first be true and honest in our hearts. And the Spirit of God, amen. Church, we got to be true. We got to be honest. We got to be honest. There has to be a place of honesty. I'm never, definitely not going to lie to myself any longer. Amen. amen. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm going to be true. Amen. In my heart. Amen. All right. Amen. And church now, this is an easy thing to do seeing that we have, actually, when you're talking about uh, lying to ourselves, doing this thing to impress, that's the easy way. It's easy to lie to yourself. Because we don't know about that. You mean, we were born like that. We were born to lie. Psalm 58 and 3 says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go as soon as they are born, speaking lies. You all didn't know babies could talk. But amen, they sit up in your arm and tell you a lie. Cry and tell you they're hungry. And they know they're not hungry. <laughs> amen. That, that's what the scripture said. They are estranged. <laughs> they know they're not hungry, but here they are. Wah, 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 wah. Amen. They will tell you that something is wrong with them and have you getting up out of your war bed at night and they know that nothing is wrong with them. It's not just them, church. We were trained like that. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Nobody has to teach us, amen, how to live like that. Nobody has to teach us. We are born like that. But if we are going to speak the truth in our heart, now that's going to take some training. That's going to take some diligent effort. That's going to take some, come on, some, some boldness, some moxie on the inner man. That's going to take some, it's going to require you to say, okay, now I'm going to begin to exercise, that's exercise, exercise a modicum of what goes on in my mind. I'm going to begin to exercise. The thoughts, whether I think a thought or let or, and have that meditation, or whether I let that just get out of my, my mind. Amen. Church of God, it is a very honorable thing to care about yourself and others and the community. All of these things will become automatic when we begin to speak the truth in our hearts. We've got to speak the truth. We've Amen. got to speak the Amen. truth. Amen. Church of God, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a place, hallelujah. When the Bible says this, amen, that hallelujah, along with this here, speaking truth in our heart, amen, the Bible says that we are to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. The Bible says we are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart. My God, this here is a serious place of exercising now. 
Amen. Amen. Glory to God, church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Church of God. Hallelujah. When you when when we when we when, when we begin to go here, now you begin to grow somewhere. When you go to this place and begin to exercise the place of speaking truth in your heart, now you got you gonna start dealing with the real. Because what you're going to do is you're going to start, you're going to dive into a cesspool. My God. Because the Bible says that our heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know? You're going to get to a place where you're going to see a man that you don't like. And that man is not going to be a foreign man, but that man is going to be somebody you call self. My God. And in the midst of seeing that man, you're not going to like what you see. But church, please know this. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus is the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley does not grow, amen, hallelujah, anywhere but in the cesspools of the earth. They grow in the bogs, in the places, in the valley where there's nothing but muck and mire. Amen. Peak where places where don't nobody want to walk. Places where don't nobody want to go. That is the place where the lily grows. And church of God, when you begin to Speak the truth in your heart. Amen. You're going to go to places, amen, and hallelujah. There's going to be things that you're going to run into, and you're going to say, I didn't know that was in me, but oh, yes, it is, church. And what you got to do is confess it as a father. This stuff is in me. I've got these fears in me. I've got these doubts in me. I've got these worries in me. I've got this ugliness in me. Lord, now, amen, when you determine this stuff, you got to say, Lord, create in me now a clean heart. Every time you find mess, you got to turn it over to the Lord. You got to learn how to cast your cares. Yes. upon the Lord yes. because He cares for you. Yes. You can't be yes. afraid to deal with the real. Amen. You can't be afraid to deal with the mess. You can't be afraid to say, Lord, amen, even though I'm sitting up in church, amen, I've got this dirt going on in my mind. Even though I'm at the altar, amen, God, amen, there is the desire to depart. Even though I'm singing, even though I'm giving, even though I'm praying, I got this stuff going on. Church, now you are growing. You are dealing with the real. You are, come on now, because every, the, every time you, the church, there, amen, there's a, there's a saying that at every level, there's another devil. Amen. As you go higher in Christ, you got to deal with the, 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 oh my God. Paul said, when I would do good, evil is present with me. When I, my God, hallelujah. And church, when we are honest, when we are honest, when you are not honest with yourself, you're going to be walking around here talking about how holy you are. But when you are honest with yourself, then you walk around humble, talking about, oh, woe is me. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Lord, forgive me. Lord, create in me when you are really honest, church. My God, when we become honest with ourselves, now we become helpers of ourselves. We begin to tell the Lord. And I challenge us, church. Amen. Don't walk around. Amen. Hiding from the dirt that is inside. Amen. When it comes to the inside, when it, when it manifests, be honest and say, it's there. Don't sweep it under the rugs of your heart. But, amen, sweep it out of the house. Amen. Don't, my God, deal with it. Amen. Confess your faults. Church, confess it and say, Lord, there is this stuff in me. I don't want it in me. Lord, deliver me from this. And church, when God deliver you from that, <coughs> hallelujah, you are still the lily of the valley. Mm -hmm. You are still in the muck and the mire. You are still in the midst of the mess. Mm -hmm. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah. And when God deliver you from that, church of God, we're going to go from faith to faith mm -hmm. and from glory to, to glory. glory. And faith to faith and glory, glory to glory. glory. And every, every round goes higher and higher. And as it goes higher and higher, you got to